Hey everyone, we are going to be talking about some vocabulary that you are going to be seeing in your story, in your my book, the science behind sight. You're going to see that here in just a minute, but I wanted to talk about the vocabulary before you see it in the book so we make sure we're all on the same page and understanding what it means. So the first word we're going to talk about is luminous. And I've got a picture here in my little screen down here, luminous, and that is an object a luminous object is something that gives off light, like the sun is luminous. The next one, this is another word you're going to see in your book, is transparent. If an object is transparent, you can see through it, like a window, for example, is transparent. The next word is reflect. When light reflects off a surface, it bounces back without passing through the surface. So, for example, the surface of a mirror reflects light. It's bouncing back and your eyes can see it. The next vocabulary word is illuminates. Illuminates. Something that illuminates gives off light and makes the area around it brighter. A lamp illuminates the area around it. So, like a lighthouse in this picture. And the last one we're going to talk about together is judge. If you judge, you guess or estimate the size or amount of something. You might judge the weight of an object before you try to pick it up. So, we're going to be looking for those vocabulary words in, your, in the story. Be thinking if you can think of some other examples that would fit with these terms. And so next, before we start reading, we are going to look at an anchor chart and when we look at our story, we are going to practice summarizing. In order to do that, one thing that's really going to help you out and make it easier to do a summary is to find headings and subheadings. That's number one over here. Headings and subheadings help you find the main ideas. That's what the text is telling you about, the big ideas. So you don't need unnecessary information. Sometimes there's lots and lots of details, and they're really interesting, but that's not the most important information. Sometimes things will be repeated. Maybe the author says it in a different way and it's repeated. We don't have to include that in the summary. And if there's a list, just put that in your own words. It doesn't have to stay a list. Next is write a short topic sentence. Write your short topic sentences using those main ideas that you found. And then the last step is just to combine those sentences into a short summary of what you've read. So let's practice that in your my book. We're going to start on page 106 and the story we're reading is the science behind sight. That's the story we're reading. Before we look at that, in your book where it says set a purpose, So, as we're reading this, I want you to be thinking about the title and the genre of this text, and what do you know about the sense of sight? What do you want to learn? And you're going to write your ideas here. As we're reading, be thinking about what you're seeing as far as the headings go, some of the diagrams, and those are going to help you get a lot of information as well, and going to help you summarize like we just talked about. So you can fill that in on your my book. And we're going to practice just this first page together um, and trying to summarize what we read. So we are on page 108 now, and the main heading is seeing things. It's these big words up here. And then I see we have a couple of subheadings, the sense of sight and light and dark. So that kind of gives me an idea of what we're going to be reading. So let's go ahead and read this page together, and then we'll work on putting together a summary in our own words of just the main idea of what this section is about. Seeing things. Think about how you are reading the words on this page. You can read these words because your eyes can see. Seeing things helps us find out about the world around us. The sense of sight. We have five senses to help us understand our world. Sight, smell, touch, hearing, and taste. Sight is very important. It shows us sizes, shapes, and colors. It tells us where we are going and how far away things are. 
It helps us read, play, learn, watch things, and more. Light and dark. We can see when it is light, but it is hard to see well in the dark. When we go into a room with no lights or windows, it is dark. The room and things in it look black because there is no light to help us see them. Light gives us sight. We can see the trees in this forest because of the sunlight shining on them. So I'm going to summarize this first page that we just read to make sure that I'm understanding what the author is saying. So I'm, I'm going to use my headings, the big heading here and these little subheadings in purple, and I'm, they're going to help me summarize. So I think I'm going to put this in my own words by saying, our sense of sight gives us information about the world around us. We need light in order to see well. So that's just a very short little summary of what was on this page. Now, I want you to practice as you continue reading this. Use those other headings and subheadings. Be thinking about it as you read. And just kind of put, put the pages in your own summary of what these sections are about. And don't forget, you can use this anchor chart to help you.